Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you five cool Lee Chess features in five minutes. And stick around to the end because there might be a bonus uh, feature as well. Number one is the coordinates trainer. If you go to the learn tab and click on coordinates, you'll get a, a way to practice your vision of the board. So here it has 30 seconds or infinite and you click on which orientation you'd like and click start training and a square will come up in the middle of the board and you just have to click on it as fast as you can and see how many you can do in 30 seconds. I'm not going to do one now, but my record is 45 or 46 if you want to try and beat me. That's with the white orientation. Black is about the same actually because you just have to switch your mind upside down and it's basically the same uh, when you when you when you have a lot of experience with chess at least. Um, and that's number one. Number two is the custom challenges. So these are the quick pairing options in Lee Chess. But if you go to lobby, um, you can click on the settings icon and ch choose uh, some settings of the challenges you want to see. And this is uh, important, according to me, I think it's a useful feature because you can set the rating range of your of the challenges so you can only so possibly you can set it if you want to only see challenges of higher rated players and this is super important when you're when you're serious about improving at chess it's very important to play higher rated players who punish every mistake you make because that's how one of the main ways we learn to stop making mistakes if they get punished if we're playing lower rated players uh, maybe they don't punish our mistakes, so we don't learn. We aren't forced not to make them as quickly, right? Uh, number three are puzzle themes. So if we go to puzzle dashboard here, on the left, second option is puzzle themes, which basically, as the name suggests, you can choose the theme of your puzzle. It may be um, promotion, under promotion, that's always fun. One recommendation I have is, or are, mate in three or mate in four, which is a good way to practice your calculation because, okay, in a game, we don't know what, if there exists, if a mate, checkmate exists, but sometimes it's good practice to know that there's a checkmate and to force yourself to calculate four moves or five, um, because it's not super easy sometimes. And number, that was number four, right? Number, no, that was number three. Number four are studies. So this is my public YouTube account. And I've made some studies, which are just groups of positions or games. Um, so I've made a study for each of my tournaments where I put each game. So one study equals one tournament. They're obviously private, so no one can access them except me. Um, but uh, one, option one suggestion i have is this one which i made called cool tactics from my games and what i do basically is every time a cool tactic pops up in one of my games maybe i saw it maybe i didn't i save it here so to save it quickly if you go to a random game this is the last game i played go to analysis board down the bottom under share and export there's an fen which is just basically a way or the computer's way of recognizing the position, every single unique position. And you can just copy that and go to the study, click on add a new chapter and use the FEN option, which is here and just paste it in here. And that's how I uh, save cool, cool tactics. For example, number five, this one is really cool. Um, you can pause the video quickly if you wanna try and work it out. I didn't see this one in my game, it's white to move. But the answer is knight takes e6, and it only works because after f takes, queen takes, rook takes, we have this amazing move, queen takes rook. Because after king takes, e6 check, discovery, and we win material. So really cool tactics I, like that, I love to save in this um, study. And number five is something a lot of people already know about, but the database, the opening database, which has a master's database, normal leeches player database and you can even search for individual players um, and this serves uh, and you can click on the icon and choose okay only blitz only from players above 2000 and this is a way to prepare your openings so for example you can see that after e4 e5 um, 
wow, the King's Gambit is the second most popular move. Okay, it makes sense. But maybe you can see, okay, only 4 million out of 46 million of games uh, continue with that force. And maybe you can add that to your repertoire and study a bit of King's Gambit to try and surprise players. And obviously, looking deeper, you can see the most popular moves in each position. And the bonus feature, which I thought is just really fun, is back on the puzzle dashboard. The last option here is from my games. And you can search for any player, such as yourself. I'm going to search for Eric Rosen because my new account is too new to have puzzles. But it shows you puzzles that they've made from your games. Uh, and I think that's really cool. So I hope this video was useful. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.